Hey, this is Harry Guinness for Tuts Plus, and in this series of tutorials, I'm going to be looking at Text Expander. Text Expander is a Mac productivity app that takes a short abbreviation and expands it into a much larger snippet of text. I'll show you how that works. I type my email address countless times a day, so to save time and make it easier so that I don't add in any typos, I can just type semicolon em and it expands out to harry at harryguinness.com. This is obviously quite a simple example. I'm only saving 8 or 10 keystrokes, you know, a couple of milliseconds rather than any great saving. But with longer snippets, you can save a lot more time. Text Expander is really great for speeding up your workflows. So let's have a look at creating a new snippet. With the Text Expander app open, where you can access it from the menu bar app, click on the new snippet button. You can create snippets in various forms. You can use plain text, formatted text, or a scripting language, which we'll cover in a future tutorial. I'm going to recreate that email one. So we're just going to add my email address, harry at harryguinness.com. We want this to be in plain text. I can go to formatted text. Then I'm able to select it and use this text drop down menu to change the text, the font, make it bold, any of that. In general, you want to be using plain text. Only use formatted text if you want to insert things like logos or uh, taglines that have to be in a certain format. So I'm going to give this the label email tuts test. You can see the e or you can see the labels here and it uses the snippet content by default if you don't assign a label. So it's a good idea to get into the habit of using a label because as you get into longer snippets, you won't always be able to tell by this short preview here. Then I'm going to give it an abbreviation. So I'm going to use XEM. Now the X there is important. That's the modifier before the abbreviation. Something like EM is something you're going to type all the time. And if that starts expanding out into your email address, it's going to annoy you. So if you use a modifier like an X or a semicolon or a full stop or a comma, it means you can have all the benefits of something that's easy and quick to type without it triggering accidentally. For more information on that, check out the written post below. So let's check this out over in Byword. So I type XEM and it expands out to Harry at Harry Guinness. Dot com. You can also create snippets as you type. You might realize that you're typing something and it makes a lot of sense for that to be a snippet. So say I just type hello and I type hello a lot so I want to make a snippet of it. I can select it, copy it to the clipboard, command C, and then go to text expander and create a snippet from clipboard. It will be auto-filled into the snippet content and then in the abbreviation I can enter in whatever I want. So let's run with H E or something like that and click, click, click create. That's obviously a terrible abbreviation because I'm going to type the word he occasionally. So I'm just going to delete that straight away and never use it. But that just shows you how to create it. With Text Expander 5, you also get suggested snippets. As you type, a text expander will pick up on what you're saying and start recommending that things you say all the time become snippets. They all get added to this suggested snippets group and you can see some of the ones here. So if I click on keyboard maestro, you can see we're given the options to drop the suggestion or keep the suggestion. If I click keep suggestion, I can add the abbreviation. If I click drop suggestion, it will no longer be recommended to me every time I click on keyboard maestro. Another great thing is that there are included predefined snippet groups like this symbols or the emoji group, which already have abbreviations. To add them, you click on the plus icon and then go to add predefined group and select one of the ones from there. As I mentioned, the snippet I created was very simplistic and simple. So let's have a look at a longer and more involved snippet. If I twirl open work there, you can see I've got this previous tuts snippet. If I jump over to Byword and type X tuts, this auto fills a much longer paragraph that says you can see all my previous tutorials at and there's a link. However, a couple that I'm especially happy with are and then three tutorials. I use the snippet all the time, whether I'm pitching people 
or just sharing my work and people want to see what I'm doing. So you can see this is something that before I would have typed differently. I would have just copied in the Tuts Plus link and maybe one or two of my more recent tutorials. It's not something that obviously requires a snippet, but when you think about it, it's the sort of thing that's what, that's perfect for one. So when you're going about looking at your workflow and considering what should be made into snippets, think about things that you say the gist of all the time, but might not say identically. So if you frequently send emails that feature reports, maybe you could create a snippet that has all the content of what you say in that email. Each time you go to do it now, you might send a slightly different email, but once you've got a snippet in place, then you'll be able to speed up your workflow quite a lot. For more information, check out the written post below this and come back for later tutorials in the series where we're going to dive deeper into Text Expander.